she uh, endured that for a long time, and Daddy was you know, just an angel for taking care of her. Oh, he really was. Oh, you yeah, know, he, really he did wonderful. I have a there. video of them on television. I have that too, with one yeah. that was for the telethon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. The interview they did. Yeah, yeah, the news was. and how he took care of her. And, yeah, for so many like years. Yeah. He really did wonderful. And the things he did with her, I mean, you know, in and out the bed all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he did wonderful, taking care of her. Your dad was a good cook. He wasn't too bad, yeah. <laughs> I remember, I remember one time I went over there for, for Thanksgiving. I don't know. It was, I think your aunt, and uncle was there, or somebody. I don't remember. Your mom and dad. And Car Carmen was fixing it. Your mom was giving her the orders what to do. <laughs> the directions. The directions. I'll never forget it. Put so much of this and so much of that in it. <laughs> yeah, mom, she used to cook quite a bit when, and, and a lot of baking when yeah. I was a kid. Boy, I had good stuff to eat all the time. Yeah. And then go yeah. to grandma's house. I'll always get cookies. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Did she ever baked. serve those baked apples to you? I went to stay with Grandma Peterson, and Mom dropped me off on Sunday, and for Sunday for lunch we had baked apples. <laughs> then Mom, when Mom left, she says, now eat everything your Grandma feeds you. I said, okay, and be a good girl and mind your Grandma. Okay. So she leaves. For dinner, for supper, we had baked apples. The next morning, for breakfast, we also had baked apples. We came for lunch, <laughs> she put a baked apple on the table, and I said, are we going to have baked apples for every meal? <laughs> Were they back, baked or canned? They were baked. They were baked they were in one of those canned. little sauce things. Because we, I used little to bake them cups. first and then put them in a. And she says to me, big mouth jar, and bake them. She says, I thought you liked the baked apples. I said, no, I don't like them at all. <laughs> she says, okay, we won't have them anymore. All I could imagine was two weeks of baked apples. <laughs> Do you remember Mabel Abbey? Yes. What yep, the heck ever her, happened to her? That was Ma's neighbor. That was Ma's neighbor? Yeah. Well, I remember, I remember the name I remember very well. She used to, I mean, she was this old lady that used to come and sit, sit at the table and just mumble. And and Dad and Pete, and I remember if Joe was in it or not, but Dad and Pete, they used to just complain about her being there, coming and visit and Ma or Grandma. She just always you know, Good neighbor. pass them off. And, Good neighbor. Yeah. But she used to drive about 30 miles an hour on the highway. I used, to just, I used to just love when Ma would come and stay. She'd wash all my windows and everything. She felt so sorry. I just loved it when she came. Don't get caught up on the housework? Get caught up on the house. She never came only when I had a baby. Oh. Hardly. So she only visited eight times? <laughs> well, she, well, she came, you know, right after I got out of the hospital and that, okay. you know. But I mean, Boy, when she changed, she really clean. <laughs> I did it, everything was just perfect when she left. Yeah. I just loved it. If there was any white clothes, that was really white when she left that she washed. She loved to clean house oh. and fix, and Grandma liked to paint and she, decorate, too. She, right? could, she could take a rag that looked terrible, mop rag, and when she got done with it, it was snow white. Okay. I remember her painting floors, and it would be what we would call today a stencil. Give me that. She would take cardboard and cut out something, and then, oh, and yeah. then she would put the piece of cardboard down, and she'd have this cut out, and then she, she made uh, like borders. The, the borders around the top. She always made her own. We never had paint when I was little on the wall. It was always calcimine. What's that? It, you mix it. It's a powder. You oh. mix it with water, and then you put it on the wall, and it dries. See, it's and it's. And it stayed, but it wasn't paint, it was calcimine. Could you wash it? Yeah, you could wipe it off, but you couldn't rub too hard, because if you did, you'd take it off. Oh. And didn't she put, she put pigments in that? And then she, that's what she did all the time. And then she made her own rugs when they'd wear out, you know? It was really, how she done it? She'd paint the whole thing one color, then she'd make a stencil around like this. A border? A border. And then she'd make her own border, whatever she wanted, flowers or anything. Then she'd take the center and she'd dab it. 
make it all different color. Make it look like a rug. Make it look like a rug. So she painted the floor to look like a rug? No, or the old rug that wore out. Oh, she'd repaint it. Every time oh, it looked my. just like a rug. <coughs> she was the most creative thing I ever saw. She could figure out anything. Anything that went wrong, she'd have it done. Wow. Well, did she do a lot of sewing? Yep, she made everything. Made everything. Everything. I that remember there's could... made a lot of clothes for me. I remember you could eat off of her basement floor. Oh yeah, it was, it was <laughs> That's what I remember about her basement. Yeah. That old hand washing machine down there. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Didn't she make um, rugs out of rags or... Oh yeah, braided rugs. Braided rugs, yeah. that's what she made. Oh yeah. yeah I think she made your rugs. dress that you had for when you were a flower girl for Dolly. Yes, I do remember that because I stayed with her. Yeah, she made it. Yeah, she made everything. She made Marie's wedding dress, but she didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> How about Opal's? Did she make Opal's wedding dress? No, I don't think so. No, Opal bought hers. Now, how about you? She, had, she was rich. No. <laughs> I bought mine. You know how little mine is. Yeah. <laughs> I was really tiny. Yes. Can you think of that? Well, the girls can't even wear my my belts I used to wear. I think she had a, a waistline like Scarlett O'Hara, about 19 inches. No. Yes, it was, because my waist used to be a 22, and I was about this far away from it, four inches away. So I think she was probably that, 18 or 19 inches. When you guys were growing up, other than going skating, what did you do for fun? Stay home, and pop popcorn and played cards. And music. And music. That's about it. Went to free show. And the free movies? Free movies, yeah. They had to take us and we'd sit on these boards and read the show. You know, silent movie. Oh, you had to read the subtitles. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Silent movie. Now, who was it you stayed with that was very sick? Clara. I stayed with Clara a lot. That was Grandma's sister? Yeah. And yeah. what was wrong with her? She had TB. She died from TB. I lived with her when she had it, and when they took her to the hospital, I used to clean up every time she threw up. And when I worked in the restaurant, just because I lived with her, I'd have a shot every fall of the year when I worked at the tunnels every year. And that was years afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's because you tested positive to one test, and then you'd go to the second test, right. and then it would be right. negative, but she just was a because, carrier of TV. Yeah, just because I was a carrier. They'd shoot me in here or somewhere. Oh. And then uh, they'd come back and check the money to see if I would, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you guys do crafts? You and your brothers and sisters? Did you do crafts at home or not make anything much. or no. build anything? Oh, we'd color a little bit, but not that much. Mm -hmm. not that when did Grandma Peterson start working at the canning factory? Did she? Mm -hmm. Well, that was in Bryceland. Was that her first job working at the I worked in the canning factory. Was that the one in Wells? Or did they have a canning factory? They had in Bryson. Bryson. Yeah. Bryson. Yeah. I think Mom worked there. I think she did too. I was worked there too when I was 16. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> really made the bucks. Well, now, your mother um, was confirmed in North Dakota. And Mola was. How was she related to Grandma Peterson? Well, Grandma Peterson's husband is her brother. Okay. Your and dad. Who, and who, My dad. And who, what was his name? Ole Peterson. Mala's. No, Mala's husband. Charlie Kittleson. Charlie Kittleson, okay. Yeah. And Charlie Kittleson, or Mala, what's her real name? Marie, right? Marie, yeah. And she was Grandma's no, sister. No, she was Dad's sister, Ole's sister. Right. Okay. Right. So we know that they were in North Dakota, and we also know that Grandma was in North Dakota. But what we don't know is how they arrived in Iowa. Well, they, Pa and Ma must have lived in North Dakota when Palmer and Marie and Truman were little. Oh, really? I think As so. As a married couple. Yeah, I think they, that's when they lived in. Did they meet up there, and is that where think, those were, they were born? We were both born around Lake Mills. Your dad was? No. Oh, both, both? 
Grandma the parents. Grandpa. Both Grandma and Grandpa Peterson were born in near Lake Mills, yeah. Iowa. But you think they lived up there with the... They lived in, in uh, North Dakota at one time because Ma told me that they run a homestead. Now, did they well, have any of their you children? Know, Dad used to get uh, oil company checks from the mineral rights from North Dakota. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess all the kids did. Mm -hmm. Didn't you? Yeah, I got some too. Not very <laughs> Maybe big. they left you out for a while. <laughs> we got like a hundred. No, Dad used to laugh when I he think, got his check. Yeah. He said, yeah, I'm a big oil check. <laughs> yeah. I think the last one I got was 15, 20 years ago, $140. Yeah. Now, 